So here I am in, in Italy doing a test drive for Jeep. I'm here at Lake Garda and it's uh, an absolutely beautiful location. Um, the sun has come out for this video, which is, which is great because uh, it's actually been raining the last two days. Um, but I've been test driving three models. You have here the, the Compass, which is uh, the entry level. And um, we drove this from the airport to uh, the location and um, it's perfectly smooth. Um, it's been a fantastic car um, for on the road. Um, you know, we took the highway drive around some twisty roads and, and it handles absolutely perfectly. Um, Off-road, it also has lots of capabilities. Um, it can get up pretty much all, all steep inclines and declines. Um, here we have the Cherokee, which is sort of, we get into a bit more of the off-road sort of sporty vehicles. Um, now this one, um, despite the fact that it's sort of a little bit lower than perhaps you'd expect from a Jeep, this really does handle through mud. I mean, um, during this trip, we, we did the highway drive yesterday, but today we've gone off-road. Um, we're sort of here in the, in the mountains of near Lake Garda, and we have uh, basically, a, we're in a quarry. So there's lots of uh, mud trails and, and rocky roads. Um, and this got through probably about two, three feet of mud without any significant difficulties. I mean, Plenty of, of bigger cars that I've test driven in the past have got stuck in less mud than this. But this one absolutely got through everything. And um, to be honest, I can't really have any, anything bad to say about this car. This car is absolutely brilliant. And then also, finally we have come into the Grand Cherokee. Now this is the, the high level Jeep. This is, you know, this is the Jeep of your dreams really. This, this car is, um, I mean, I, I took this out onto, onto the road and it was absolutely, uh, Fantastic, really. I mean, you know, some very steep, very, very steep declines, especially there was some one area. It was a very, it was like a muddy hairpin. And, you know, we were wondering, will this car, will this car go? But the traction in, in what is that really uh, terrible conditions was fantastic. Um, on rocks, I mean, there's lots of rocky potholes and bumps, but it absolutely, uh, it went over everything perfectly fine. Um, so all three different models of Jeep, all three handled plenty of off-road difficulties, obstacles, all three handled it perfectly. I mean, if you're looking for on-road comfort, the Compass is, it's very, very difficult to, to recommend this enough. It's, it drives very well, the technology in the car, navigation, media, um, and all, all the features, obviously all three are packed with features for off-road driving. So four-wheel drive lock, four-wheel drive auto, snow, which you probably won't need in Bahrain, but you never know one day. Sand, uh, mud, rocks, everything you need for driving around the desert and the, and the highways is fine. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sad I'm leaving. I've got another couple of hours with these. I'm gonna take it around the trail again, just to see if I've missed anything. Um, then we'll be driving back to, to the airport and uh, we'll say goodbye, but definitely won't be the last time that I spend some time with, with Jeep and these cars are all available in the market and, and upgrades will be coming soon. So yeah, look out for it in Gulf Weekly. We'll bring you the latest. Thank you.